Hello, everybody, here at ABN 2023 at the Joy Dot City booth with Brazzers. And of course, I have the gorgeous curvy redhead, Abigail Morris. Hi, Abigail, how are you? I am great, Holly. How are you? I am great. Your, your boobs are, are very nice. In that <laughs> outfit. You know, it's I'm very hard not to sit. Dude, I, got, I have nothing happening here. No, are you kidding me right you now? You bend a little bit, and I'm like, oof. <laughs> Just like let's that. let's see whose cleavage is bigger. Hmm. Okay, bigger is not the question. Mm, better who, is the who, question, no. and I'm enjoying yours. Okay. Well, thank you. She's just being nice, everybody. <laughs> so, um, is this? Have you been to AVN before? Is this your first no, one? This is my first AVN. Ooh. So, what are you thinking so far? I love it. I'm used to conventions. Uh -huh. so okay. I go to Comic Con all the time. Since okay. I'm a super nerd. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is much like a lot of the conventions I go to, and I've realized 80% of the people are my same fans from the nerd conventions. So. Oh my God! Isn't it great how like nerd nerd stuff and porn like absolutely combined. just goes together? <laughs> yeah, they're so like combined. I love it so much. So you say you're a nerd and you do a lot of Comic Con stuff. Can you be more specific about that? Like what is it that you're into? Uh, I'm hugely into Marvel. Like I'm obsessed okay. with Marvel. I think the DC comics are better, but the Marvel movies are better. Mm -hmm. I collect Funko Pops. I What's have that? around, they're little vinyl figures. They're collectible vinyl figures. Okay. And I have around 2,000. Jesus, you weren't joking. <laughs> I collect hot toys. I, um, I'm i obsessed with everything Marvel, pretty much. And I cosplay. I love to cosplay. OK. So what are some of your favorite cosplays? I did Scarlet Witch. I loved that one. Who's that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so old. She is I don't know what any of this shit is. <laughs> she's one of the most powerful females in the Marvel Universe. OK. Okay, so. yeah, I'm like, as you can tell, I'm not a big comic book person, but I, I, I do watch tell. all the movies when they come out, and then my husband, who likes comic books, has to explain shit to me. Oh, so he'll, okay. like, pause the movie, and he'll be like, okay, so let me explain to you, or he'll have to explain to me, like, at what point in the... Like, we've been rewatching Star Wars, mm -hmm. and he has to, like, explain to me where this fits in the Star Wars timeline, because I... That's no amazing. Yeah. I love yeah. that. At least he takes the time to do that, though. A lot he of does. people just get annoyed. Yeah, no, he likes my... One thing that my husband loves to do is like mansplain. It's his favorite thing. That is hilarious. And I, I love, love him for so it. I love you, honey. I love you for it. But <laughs> um, yeah, he loves to t <laughs> tell people what's up. <laughs> that is so great. I love that. <laughs> so um, you are signing for Brazzers. Yes, I am. So you've done a lot of shoots with them. I've only mainstream shot with Brazzers. Okay. For so like they are very special. Of mind geek type things. Nice, yeah. nice. And so why did you choose? them over other companies? I have, they have a reputation that I've kind of heard that they treat their talent really well. They're mm -hmm. all very respectful. Like everything is very amazing with them. And I am not sure about branching out with other companies. It's yeah. something that lately I've been considering, but I guess I just feel comfortable where I'm yeah. at right now. Absolutely. And so they had been contacting me since I was 18, asking me to start working with them. And then October last year, or not last year, because technically we're now in 2023, the year before last right. year, uh, I finally was like, you know what, fucking let's try it. Yeah. So, and I love it. It's best decision I ever made. What was your first scene for them? It was a gonzo scene with Quentin James. Oh, he's lovely. He's amazing. Yeah, he's so much fun. He was so sweet to me. He was so romantic, and he, like, took it super easy and was teaching me positions and everything. It was wonderful. Yeah, it's, like, it's all about the the male talent that you work with, like, especially if it's, like, when your first... It probably wasn't your first boy-girl, right? It was just your first professional one? It or was my was first it? professional one right. because I had done boy-girl, like, for OnlyFans. Right, right, right. Yeah. But, yeah, like, having that that person who, like, makes you feel comfortable and takes their time with you is everything. It is. And most of the Brazzers talent, pretty much every Brazzers talent that I have worked with so far has been amazing. Yeah. Like, it's not, it's not an issue I've had. I haven't had any bad experiences, which is why I feel like I'm so comfortable here. Yeah. <laughs> They're very careful about the, the people that they sign and also the people that they work with. Yeah, so, of course. I mean, I've worked for Mind Geek for... A very long time, and yeah, they're they're definitely like the best out there. No, I I love it. Like it's by far my favorite. Do you have any favorite scenes that you did in 2022 that you feel like people absolutely need to see? Um, my favorite one is oh, I don't remember the name of it. 
One of them is Buck from the Future. Okay. That was with Scott Nails. Okay. And it's a very interesting plot. I am from the future, and sex doesn't exist anymore. Oh, no. Yeah, so I was a virgin, <laughs> which has not been like that in a while. Uh, but I traveled back in time to fuck my huge crush, Scott Nails. Wow, that is so interesting. <laughs> yes, it was amazing. It was really, I, I loved it. The other one, I know which one it is, but I don't know the name. It was just with Jay Romero and Lily Lou. Mm -hmm. My favorite scene ever. Why is that? It was just really fun. We all had great chemistry. Like, we all genuinely had a really good chemistry together. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like the scene just kind of went a lot better than I was expecting it to. Yeah. And it was actually my first scene that got over a million views. So oh, I was, wow. like, super excited. That's so exciting. <laughs> it was awesome. What are your favorite kinds of scenes to shoot? Like, girl, girl, boy, girl, threesome? Girl, girl, boy, girl, girl. Girl, girl, girl. <laughs> Everything that includes females right. and then also just boy, girl, regular as well. Okay. I'm super into women. Okay. And, like, that's something, like, a lot of people are like, oh, are you gay for pay? No. I have a girlfriend of five years. Um, oh, wow. We're polyamorous. She has a boyfriend. And, yeah, like, I love women. So how does that relationship work? Because I talk to a lot of poly people on this podcast, and, you know, so many of my listeners can't, like, wrap their heads around the idea of that kind of relationship. So what makes it work for you guys? I mean, obviously, as you know, it's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. So for us, what works is we all don't really have jealousy. Like, mm -hmm. it's very odd, and most people don't believe that that exists. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a polyamorous family. Mm -hmm. So for me, jealousy is not really something that I developed growing up. Mm -hmm. So for me, if I see my partner doing something that makes them happy, I fucking love it, regardless yeah. of what it is. Yeah. And we all kind of have that dynamic together. Okay. So it's like, if we see the other person happy, why would we have an issue with that? Right. So I feel like that's why it works for us. Right. You say you grew up in a polyamorous family. Yes. What, what does that mean? So were your parents poly? My parents were poly. Okay. Yeah, so we actually, they were not, when I was younger, I was around like 13, 14, well, I guess that's still younger, but I was around 13 or 14 when they started experimenting, and so for a while, uh, my mom had two boyfriends who, well, I guess one was the husband, but my mom was with two guys, and then it was two girls and my mom and dad. It's, it was always groups. So I grew up kind of accustomed to that and seeing, like, if somebody's happy, like, that's totally worth it. Yeah. How did they explain that to you? They didn't. It oddly. just kind of happened? Yeah. My, my parents are a little on the crazy side, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't say they handled it in a responsible way, mm -hmm. um, but I guess I just kind of took it in the way I needed to. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they didn't explain it. They were just kind of like one day brought someone home and they were like, this is them. Yeah. And we all were just kind of like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, cur I'm curious about this too because my parents were swingers. Oh, nice. Um, and so, you know, they like partied and slept with other people and went to orgy parties and had all that yes. fun. So that's not something like your story to me isn't that crazy. <laughs> but that was very much when I was younger. And so like when I was growing up, I don't remember them having like... I mean, they had friends. Who knows what, what they... I mean, actually, I do remember Ginger Lynn telling me once, I think she came over for dinner, and, like, after I went to bed, like, they all had sex in the living room or something <laughs> like that. That is amazing, though. Yeah, but, like, you know, I didn't really... Know. But I also, like, I guess as a kid, you don't really think too much about those things. If it seems don't. like your parents are taking care of you and they're connected with each other, which they very much were, um, then everything's fine. And exactly. for me, it like, was like, why question it? If yeah, everything like, is the way it should be, why question it? Yeah, and if you feel like supported and loved, then yeah, of course. You know, for me, the funniest part was uh, my parents had nine children together. They were together for 22 years, wow. so they're all biological. But my youngest sister looks exactly like my dad's best friend. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> Do, has that ever like come up at Christmas or uh, <laughs> anyone done a DNA up in conversation? Test? But everyone's pretending that it's not that way. Oh my so. god, that's so funny. <laughs> but I swear she looks nothing like my dad. It's exactly like my dad's best friend. Oh my and god. And my dad's best friend has a son, and I swear they're identical. So it's wow. Great. <laughs> and they're still best friends? Not anymore, but not for that reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was more of a we moved out of town thing. 
one. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh my God, that's so interesting. It sounds like you had a really interesting family dynamic. Oh my God, yes. Like I could write a book about it. <laughs> Maybe you should. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like it might be something in your future. Why not? Why not? Um, are you going to the awards? I am, yes. I was nominated for two fan awards. Okay. So I'm waiting to see if maybe I win. What are the fan awards? Hottest newcomer and most spectacular boobs. So. I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> come on. I feel like number two <laughs> is a shoe in. Like, I'm really hoping so. <laughs> if so, it'll be my Come on, people. Award. Come on, fans. I mean, how Please? could this not be? <laughs> Hello. I don't know. I'm about to vote you in. Oh, that's so nice of you, but I would lose spectacularly. <laughs> I am, though, however, voted for a fan award for Best Adult Industry Podcast, so that one... I actually voted for you. You did? Yeah, I saw whenever I went to look at who was nominated, and I, I didn't even know I was there, mm -hmm. and I saw myself there, and I was like, holy shit, and then I saw you there, and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> Yay. Okay, well, thank you so much. Hopefully, hopefully that helped. I think you'll win. Oh, I hope so. All right. Um... Okay, you were just, you were making moves and made me nervous, think that the camera broke down again. Okay, yeah, I <laughs> just, we've had some technical issues. We had a camera shut down in the middle of one of our last interviews, oh, so no. when Matt did that, I was like, no. It broke. No. <laughs> All right, uh, Abigail, can you tell everybody where they can find you on social media, please? Yes, my Instagram is Abigail, but it has two I's at the end, so it's A-B-I-G-A-I-I-L period Morris. That's the easiest place to find me. Everywhere else is shadow banned. So. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yes. So that is the easiest way. Okay. Fantastic. And you guys can find my shadow band ass also at, <laughs> at Holly Randall on Instagram and on Twitter. And of course, make sure that you go to joy.city. It is the new adult metaverse, the only adult metaverse, really. And um, we're taking uh, email addresses and we will be sending out some really big news updates and you want to make sure that you're on that list so that you are the first to hear about all the incredible things that are happening at Joy City in the metaverse. So thank you guys so much for joining us and I will see you next time. <laughs>